This man was 10 when the paratroopers dropped and his father took three para paratroopers. paratroopers in the barn okay. until they could come out to fight. I'm Mark Gordon Smith. I was born in Islington, Ontario in 1925, March 1925. And uh, I joined up when I was 18 because uh, they went through like the call through uh, to, for, to join up for, for duty and uh, they said if you didn't join you were called zombies so I didn't want to be a zombie so I joined active and I was in the artillery for a while and then they come through for volunteers for the paratroopers and uh, so they said you put your name down Smitty I said no you won't get me jump out of the airplane and so they called me a sissy so anyhow, I joined it. So I was taken in the paratroopers then, t trained on the paratroopers to be a paratrooper. So I trained in uh, shallow and uh, and uh, and uh, went overseas uh, during the time for training for D-Day. And uh, I was uh, in a training exercise with a, a container. I was, I was number five to jump, and between five and six, there was a container went with all our ammunition and so on that hit me in the air and clashed my chute. And I fell to the ground and, and uh, I almost landed in the, in the Rhine. But anyhow, they picked me up and I was in the hospital for quite a while. For, and I had a body cast on for five months and two days and, uh, for, before, uh, for my broken back. And so uh, oh, my, I'm going to die. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. But I'm okay here, man, today. This is when you're uh, 18 months or better, and that's uh, for being a, a veteran, and that's an overseas thing. And that's in, in, I went to India to Burma. So this is uh, my sister and I, Gord, when in 1942, the Dew Sisters, this is when it, when we were playing at the Army and Air Force camps. I'm the other half of this guy sitting right here. I'm Audrey, and we've been married for six years. We both lost our spouses and just needed somebody to, to be with. We met at the Shuffleboard Club in Gravenhurst. A couple of years later, or a year or so later, we got married, and so now we've been married for six years. And no children. And no children. I don't know why. And uh, during the war, I had a very interesting life. At the age of 12, my sister and I, in 1940, I was 12 and she was 14, we played the accordion and we uh, were in a show from out of Toronto and we did 300 shows at the Army and Air Force camps in Ontario. We also did one at the prisoner of war camp in Gravenhurst. And we were scared to death. I can remember it. I wonder what prisoners of war are like. We just just couldn't fathom that at that age. We were, I was about uh, 15 or 16 at that point. We stayed at the Martin Manor overnight, which is now the Gravenhurst um, Manor. And uh, we did a lot of, in those days, everybody did volunteer stuff. And we did, dozens and dozens of shows at uh, different places, churches and community centers and everything for in aid of the British War Victims Fund or the Red Cross or the Salvation Army. And we did a lot of that. I lived in Toronto, I was born in Toronto, and we had to um, have all our windows black, like a blind, black blind, at seven o'clock at night or six o'clock, whenever it got dark. We weren't allowed to have all the, the lights blaring out on the street. In case an air raid, in yeah. case some German planes came over. And when we were in school, we had to know all the shapes of the airplanes like the measure smiths, isn't it? Measure smiths, whatever it was. Uh, and we had to know the shapes of them so that if we looked up, we know whether it was our planes or whether it was a, an enemy. 
I think it, for a young person, it's good for a young fellow to, to go in training for the, in the in the Army or Air Force or anything like this. It's good for them to take that, that training. It means a lot, I think, and uh, for a young person to get anything like that.